Phil, we're in the Octopus home at Fully Charged outside. And I think one of the things about Octopus is its creative thinking that I really like. So you're doing some work with a range of different technologies. I know you're trying to get the price of heat pumps down so we can get that out into the market immediately, but yeah. I'm surrounded by some slightly more forward thinking stuff like electric, electric wallpaper. wallpaper. You also do digital bricks. I'm sure yeah. people would love to know a bit more about those technologies. Yeah. Cool. Yes, air source heat pumps. That's what we would really love customers to have. But of course, air source heat pumps don't work if, you haven't, if you've got a combi boiler and you haven't got the ability to put a hot water tank. Or if you're in an apartment and you haven't got the space or the outdoor space for an air source heat pump, then something like the electric wallpaper is a really good alternative. So if you kind of touch this, it's actually warm to the touch. Yeah, but what it's, it's hot in here anyway because the sun's it's out. Warm, but it's warm, but you can feel that. Yeah, you can feel it, yeah. 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 So amazing. what this is actually doing is emitting infrared. Yeah. So these two copper strips either side, that's got 24 volt AC running up it. Right. And that's a graphene um, layer that we can see in between. Yeah. And that graphene then is being, is being powered and is emitting that infrared heat. How easy, easy is it to put up electric wallpaper? It, it's about as easy as that. I mean, we've not stuck this up, but yeah. literally you roll it up the wall and, and stick it on. And in fact, the guys at NextGen that make this, they yeah. will advise how many sheets you need for a room because they'll do the thermodynamics on a room and say, what's the insulation like? What's the right. size of this different shape and all the rest of it. And you don't need it like, every strip yeah. as you would wallpapering a wall. You might only have like a strip and then a gap and another strip and another gap. And then you can put a skim of plaster over it or you can put wallpaper on top of it and cover it up. So it doesn't need to be exposed yeah. uh, like that. So is this on the market yet or soon to be on the market? Well, so these guys have actually been doing this for nearly 10 years. Wow, okay. It's just nobody's known about That's it. It's amazing. So I came across them and I thought, actually this is a really good heating alternative uh, and, and started talking to them tried it out in my house so yeah. I've got some of this installed and we absolutely love it in our house and um, how expensive is it to, to install something like this so their pricing is it, they've targeted to try and uh, compete with replacing a gas boiler so if you count combi boiler as failed or you want to get off gas yeah. then this is going to cost roughly the same amount of uh, money to do your, your three bedroom house as a gas combi boiler so a couple of thousand pounds great well this will come as news to a lot of people so I'm really excited about this and also digital bricks I'm really fascinated with what you're doing with that yeah so um, even modern houses today, as well as go back kind of 50 years, a lot of houses are built with air bricks at the bottom of the, uh, bottom of the wall. Uh, and that's because the floor is suspended, so you've got an air gap underneath. And that needs to be ventilated so you don't get any damp issues or anything. Now, if the floor is poorly insulated, you could be losing up to 15% of your heating costs through that air gap underneath. So what these guys have done at um, Airex is created these digital air bricks. So what this does, so the grill goes over this so it looks yeah. like an air brick. You knock out the existing air brick, fit that in instead, and it'll open or close according to whether you've got the heating on or off. Okay. So close it down, heating's on, no loss. We still need the ventilation, so it'll open up again just to let that ventilation probably overnight. So a company called Airex make these. They are a startup. They've only been getting a couple of years, closed a bit of investment, and doing some really interesting stuff. Um, what we do see actually is the social housing sector are retrofitting these because okay. the social housing landlords have got a responsibility to try and improve the living conditions, yeah. the energy bills for, for their tenants. Okay, so this is being rolled out now at Canada. Yeah, these, yeah. these guys are selling it now. Yeah, Agnes it, runs how that. How expensive is this as well? That's the key question. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not sure what her yeah. price point is on these. Um, probably around the kind of £100 mark per well, We'll per have brick. to go and see an installation, won't we, to find yeah. out. Yeah. That would be yeah. great. Get hold of Agnes, go and see one. And what other technologies are you kind of really excited about for the future? So one of the others is a company called Voltaware. So this is like a tiny little, almost credit card sized device, and it fits inside your consumer unit. So okay. that's like the equivalent of the consumer unit. It'll just fit in there. And it's got a little CT clamp that fits around the main supply yeah. here, and it's reading the energy consumption. Now fine, that's what a meter does. It reads the energy consumption. But what the Voltaware system can do is actually break that down, and it can see, ah, that's the energy being consumed by the fridge or the freezer, wow, okay. or by cooking, by electric heating, um, things, appliances and things that are turned on. And you'll get then a kind of, a, on, our, on our app that we've created with Voltaware, you get a kind of pie chart that shows the breakdown of that, of your energy consumption, it's called disaggregation. Now, if we look at this color lamp, it's gonna lead it on a little bit further. So if you're familiar with our Agile tariff, yes. the Agile tariff is priced every half hour of the day and that tracks the wholesale market. So it's particularly high between 4 and 7 p.m. So this is orange um, because the agile price is actually quite high at the moment. So that's a really bad time to be using electricity such as a dishwasher. So I often do a test on my own home and I'll run the dishwasher between 4 and 7. And then on the Voltware app, it actually comes up and the pie chart shows the dishwasher segment. I've consumed perhaps two or three kilowatts of energy um, during that time period. And that's the wrong time 
to use a dishwasher when the, the agile rates are high. And that app can actually show me that. And then I can learn that, I can understand that, and I can change my behavior and say, actually, that's a better time to use things. Or they'll look at the analysis of a fridge freezer. And too, too often, we don't realize that our fridge freezers are starting to get a bit ancient, they're starting to fail, they're starting to become inefficient. And they actually say, it looks like your fridge freezer is starting to fail. Maybe it's got furred up at the back and it's not as efficient as it could be. Maybe the pump has failed or whatever. Um, and in our, our dishwasher, we actually blew the hot water element in it. Okay. And we didn't realize, but the app told me. Okay, well, we were wondering okay. why the dishes aren't coming out quite so clean. There's a bit of you know, salt on them or whatever, and it's not finished the wash. And we didn't realize this for about a week or so, but the app knew because it had seen the change in the energy consumption pattern of the dishwasher. So that's really, really cool. Again, these guys aren't particularly well known. They've, they've been around for about three or four years. Um, how, much is the, how much does the kit cost? The app presumably is free, so but the their, kit... Their device um, retails at about £200, okay. but there is uh, a discount available with us at the moment that, that is £100 cheaper, it's 50% discount. Oh, okay. Um, so, so there's a lot of customers that are buying this and connected up to our, our tariffs and things. That's fascinating. Thank you very much, Phil.